Well, how about them apples? <laughs> First down and 10. Chicago pulls one out of the hat here in the third quarter with 5.05 to go. Fuller. Sanders to the 38. And another fight is broken out. Well, this is a real one. They're going to go over the wall. Keep Van Horn. Ooh. One Cardinal held one There's guy, and the other one uh, hit him. Now, here come the Bears. Farrell and Pat Dunsmore up. Stallings is in the middle of it. Ditka stays on the sideline. They have been on the verge of this for most of the game. And I'll tell you, you know, you know, you get that type of thing. There's an injured bear in that group, but you get that type of thing. Yeah, you know, when when someone's going to play the Bears, they know that they have to be ready to be physical, and sometimes they get over ready. They're still fighting. They're back in the middle of the field. They're still going at it. There's William Perry's out there. Lionel Washington, number 48 of St. Louis, was involved in the initial breakers. Now Stallings is in the middle of it all, trying to keep peace. It just stays in the sidelines. Gene Stallings has said he wanted his team tougher. I'm sure he told him, we're not going to take anything from those guys. I'm sure that's what he's telling the officials. You know, we're going in there with a visiting team, but we're not taking any of that stuff. Now Earl Farrell's got to get Gene off the field. I tell you, that doesn't help. I mean, that doesn't hurt. That doesn't hurt Gene Stalin. In fact, I think that's what this Cardinal team has needed for a long time. Some fire lit under them. They're going to have a long list of guys that are thrown out of this one, I would think. Stallings is wild eyed. Still trying yeah. to get. Here's Pat Hagen. fouls. He may be taking his ball club. He is. Stallings yep. is taking his team off the field. Team is leaving. I don't know that I agree with that. 48, St. Louis. 32, St. Louis. 52, St. Louis. Dick Creed, number 61, McMahon looking on calmly. A couple of the players for the Cardinals have already gone in. Now Gene is saying, come on back. Ever seen that before? No, I've never seen that. I, uh, you know, I'm sure that's something he thought better of, that, you know, that we better, we better stay here. We're not going to do that. I mean, getting in a fight is one thing. Defending yourself is one thing, but leaving the field, I don't know that you ever want to do that. Well, that would have ramifications with the league office that may be far-reaching. That's Roy Green with the shoulder sprain who's now in a suit. Here's Pat Hager. St. Louis, 32 St. Louis, and 52 St. Louis. Well, they got Otis Anderson. I knew he was fired up. They got Charlie Baker. Well, what Gene wants to hear now is uh, who from Chicago is out. See, this is where it starts, right there. That's when Freddie Joe Nunn came over and hit Hornigo, I think it was. Then Van Horn and then Washington Van got Horn. into it. Yeah, then Van Horn came and started it. 
And then from then on, it was just crazy over there in the sideline. But I don't know how you just throw Cardinals out of that deal. I mean, they, they're getting some stuff in on that sideline. I mean, I can see why they're, you know, why they're thrown out. But I don't know why some other guys maybe aren't. Uh, we're going to get the list again of those who have been ejected, but there is Otis Anderson delivering kicks. That was very obvious. I think what Gene Stallings is probably saying is, is how about some of these other guys? I mean, there's Van Horn right there coming in and giving a shot. I think they're saying, why doesn't he go? We need to get a clarification of exactly which players from St. Louis have been ejected and which, if any, from Chicago, because I didn't hear him. I don't think any Chicago Bears have been ejected. That's Johnny Rowland, a former Cardinal, ironically enough, who's on Mike Ditka's staff. Johnny Rowland was a great running back for the Cardinals. He owns a radio station in St. Louis and uh, works in Chicago for the Bears. Here is another angle at the very beginning of the play as Washington came in on Ortega. And that's what started it all right there. And then right Van Horn there. came in. We'll get that list of ejected Cardinals again in just a moment. I know Otis Anderson was kicked out. And I think Charlie Baker, but I'm not sure about that. McMahon stayed on the bench. No one ever said McMahon was dumb. I'll tell you one thing, I think these officials from now until this game is over are really going to have to take control. And I think they're going to have to, you know, get down there, blow that whistle, talk to these players, get off, get away, get away, separate them, do all those types of things because I don't think we need that in football. I don't think we can have too many of those things break out. It ain't hockey. Well, again, to, just a quick recap. There has been a, a level of uh, hostility evident between these two teams all night long. And it finally erupted when Keith Ortego caught a pass and he and Lionel Washington got into it. The four players ejected were Keith Van Horn of Chicago and three Cardinals, Anderson, Baker, and Washington. Second down and four, 14-7 St. Louis leads with two minutes to go, third quarter. Stump Mitchell, William Perry, and friends. Flags are down. I tell you, there's not another fight over there, but it's close to being one. This is where I really feel that the officials somewhere lost control of this game, and I think they, you know, they're working to get it back now. Stump Mitchell is still on the ground on the Cardinal sideline. Well, he ran square into William Perry. Watch him. Watch Perry, number 72. He's going to come down the line as Stump Mitchell comes down the line. He breaks off, and Mitchell didn't even see Perry coming off that block and ran right into him and started going backward. Then boom, another one, then boom, another one, and Stump Mitchell ends up on the bottom of all that stuff. Mitchell still down. Last man on that tackle was Todd Bell, who just signed after a year's holdout. Face mask, defense, first down. And Mitchell is still down. This is the 15th straight year these two teams have played, and uh, there's the face mask. That's right. Perry. The fridge, yeah, the fridge pulled out there as he put that arm out there. He grabbed his face mask, and then he got gang tackled, and that has to maybe hurt more than one part of the body. Fifteen penalties so far. We still got a quarter to go. There's a dipsy doodle.